is their first road trip alone. How are you feeling about it? A little nervous? I wanted to talk to these guys about like car safety. You know, like what if your tire pops? So that's pretty cool. Well, we're not gonna pop a tire, hopefully. What is happening? The next thing! Oh my gosh. Is a taser. A taser? Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Today we are in for a crazy video. Guys, I have decided to let these guys go on a road trip alone. Yeah! Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be not so scary. They're going to Kennedy's house. So it's about three and a half, four hours away. But it is their first road trip alone. How are you feeling about it? Good. A little nervous? <laughs> a little... Probably some fighting. No. Great. Great. You feel excited about it? Yeah. Okay, and then on their way back, they're going to stop and get Sadie because she's at a soccer camp, and so she'll be coming back with them, and she'll be hanging out with Kennedy, too. <laughs> so they're going to vlog their time there. But first of all, I wanted to talk to these guys about, like, car safety. Like, give you an emergency kit for, like, if anything happens, you know, like, what if your tire pops? Or what it if pops. you run out of gas on the freeway? Or what if like you're going to start your car at the gas station and it doesn't start? We had that happen once at a cheerleading competition. So I'm gonna give Lily an kind of emergency kit, roadside kit, and explain to her what it all is. I'm gonna show her how, wait, what is happening right now? Who are you? She's coming on the trip with us. She wishes she was coming on the trip with you guys. That'd be fun. but. She's not, but I'm gonna explain everything to Lily. Cassie's gonna help me, I guess, because she just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> and we're gonna give her this kit, so let's go. All right, guys, the first thing I am going to give you is this. This is a bag to hold all of this stuff. It's got this reflective little strip on it here. So the main reason for reflective stuff is because if you are changing a tire at night, the most dangerous part of it is the other cars driving by. They drive by really fast on the freeway and they need to be able to see there's something going on. So if this reflects their light, they'll be like, oh, there's something over there and they won't get close to your car. And I'm gonna give you stuff to put inside of it, okay? All right, the first thing that I'm going to give you is... Name the name of love. <laughs> see how you noticed me? Because I was wearing this vest. I definitely oh, noticed. I, noticed. I, I can definitely notice you with my back eyes. With <laughs> my back eyes. <laughs> It's good to make sure you're seen, especially on the road. Yes. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm gonna give you a back scratcher. Butt like this. scratcher. It's a clean your windshield if it, it has ice. I know we're not used to that where we live because we live in a warm yeah. in, environment. You know, just in case yeah. you Next that item that. is a fix a flat. Now I have never personally used this before, and I will show you how to change a tire in a minute. But this supposedly, if you put, you know that little tiny thing that's, you know, in your tire? Yeah. You supposedly just screw that on there and flip that up and lift it up, and guess what? It fills it with something that floats it back up so that air. it's no longer, no, it's not an air, it's like a mushy Helium. stuff that goes inside of the hole and then it lets the thing inflate. Isn't that cool? So yeah, so that's pretty cool. Well, we're not gonna pop a tire hopefully, but that's cool just in case. Now, Lily, here's a quick question. If you do pop a tire, flat tire, okay, while you're driving, is very important to do what first? Lift up Stop the car. The car. Pull over. <laughs> Stop the car and pull over, yes. But where should you pull over specifically? On the side of the road. How far off the side of the road? Very far, like into the woods, like you're as about to fall. As far as you can get away from the road. You know why? A lot of accidents happen on the side of the the road when you're trying to fix a flat. Like people drift by really fast or they're looking at their phone and they hit people trying to fix their tires. So you get all the way to the side of the road and then you can fix your tire, okay? All right, next like item. That. Okay, now this item doesn't go in here. This item goes in the front glove box. So this is a fun little thing that organizes like all of your important documents so that your, you know, your insurance card and your registration and all of that fun stuff can go in here and it just sits in your glove box, and then that way if you ever get pulled over, which you won't get pulled over, but if you ever do, you just reach in and you grab this, you don't have to go through and fumble through all these papers. <laughs> like that's always such a mess. 
Just say, just grab this. Here you go, please, officer. Bye. Don't give me a ticket, please, because I have such a beautiful compartment organized with my seat. Just for you. Yes. So this is fun. You can organize what is happening. The next thing. Oh my gosh. Is a taser. A taser. In case anyone ever comes up to you, and you're watch out. <laughs> This is a flashlight. 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 Yeah. I never have a flashlight. Did you see this? Any bus one? Yes. Yeah. Did I see if there's a the next one? Next is a flashlight. Flashlight goes in there. Good in case you need light and don't have it. So this item is really cool. It just looks like a normal little, I don't even know what. But take that lid off right there. Yes, phone, phone charger. charger. Phone it charge. is an emergency yes. phone charger. So if for some reason your phone runs out of battery and you don't have even like the little plug to plug it in or whatever, pop this right straight into your phone and it charges your phone. Okay, next item is this doohickey. Anyone know what this is? Yes. The thing that you put on the, on the road, the car, like, so people know not to go right there. Perfect. Next item is a boom. traveling hook. What do you think That's this is for? Your car. Yes, it's a tow, like a towing rope. So in case your cart is like, say that it gets like stranded on the side of the road and like runs out of gas, like one time I ran out of gas at a light, the person in front of you can hook this on their back of their car, hook it on the front of your car and they can pull you to safety. All Whoa. right, let's your husband next item, one more time. What is it? I say so. so. <laughs> in case you get lost. <laughs> Oh, that's a good thistle. In case of an emergency. Compass. On yes, because it gets a lot of people's attention because it's very loud. This is an item. This isn't really an emergency it's item, a, but it's a really good road trip item. This is a little garbage can. I needed one of those. It fixes on the back of like your headrest. So this will keep your car organized while you're driving because it's usually snacks and things and garbage. And that always helps me to have a garbage in the car when we're road tripping. All right, next item. So this right here. See how it is? It's for like baby dope. But you know what, I love it. Have you ever been driving on a road trip and the sun is hitting you literally right in the face the whole oh, time? Boy. And so you end up trying to get a blanket or something to block it. This is so nice, because these just fix on your window. Beep, and then you pull this down. Wait, beep. is this for me and Luke on like the side? Like Yes, it shades you from the sun. And so it is so nice. So oh, those are for can safety still see too. Through it. Yes, you can still see through it, but it shades you. Perfect. All right, wait, oh, Cassie has the next item. What do you guess this is? Uh, oh, that should break, break your window when you go into water and <gasps> cut your seatbelt. Yeah, Whoa. Did I already tell you this? Yeah. Wow. Wait, I want to see. I want to see. Okay, here it is. Uh, look a little closer, kids. Oh. Right here underneath this, we have the seatbelt cutter. See that sharp knife? Yeah. Ooh. But what if it's in your back? You won't be able to get out of your seatbelt. That's why you don't leave it in your bag. You leave it in like your side, like in your, your thing pocket. that comes down. Yeah. Or on the side of your seat. Yeah. Okay. You snap your seatbelt if it doesn't come off. You don't panic, you just... Then, <laughs> this side, you take this off. See that sharp needle? Yeah. Very cool. Don't need the sharp needle. Ding! You can break that Watch glass it. right there. Okay, yeah, it's not actually. But, you just do a little tap tap. The glass break. window will break, and yeah. then you'll be able to get out of your car if you're in the water. Yes. All right, next item is... Jumper cable! We already here. Sorry, I was I will never. Like, we competition. Yes. The, my mom's car like, like stopped. It, like, yeah, the stopped. battery didn't the battery start. Didn't start. And so we had a person who used these jump cables and started my mom's car. To start car. our car. Yes. So I'm, I'm going to show you. you this is one thing I'm going to show you outside, but let's put it in here for right now. Oh, there's something else to show you. Uh -huh. right <laughs> 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 he got the little bug. Like so don't get your nails hair. dirty. <laughs> no, but the inside of the car is it's like, like, it's like really oily and lots of black. So whenever you're working inside your car, it's probably good to wear. Yeah. Next item is yes. boom. I bet you can't guess what this is. It's a plugger. So it's, a it's, a it's electricity. This actually inflates your tire. And how it works is this right here plugs into your like, you know, the little lighter thing, the yeah. little yeah. Um, electric thing in the front of your car. I don't remember what it's called. It used to be called like a, a cigarette, cigarette lighter, but <laughs> now it charges your phone. This goes and you screw it into the side of your tire and then you turn it on and it goes and it blows up your tire. No way. All right, next item. Oh, all right. Go 
Okay. All right, that is an important item this to have. This is probably the most important. I have a lot for your important. head. <laughs> what is the reason for the pillow and the blanket? Yeah. Is it sick? I have a blanket. It's a blanket. Because again, at nighttime, if suddenly your heater starts working and you're in a cold area, it gets cold in your car. But mighty guess what? fast. Mighty we're gonna fight. fast. We're gonna fight. Just over saying, when you cuddle, it's that's gonna okay. Be it's a big one. You can all snuggle underneath that. All right, so that's so nice. And of course, it is pink. So that's super cute. Next item, this is a utility knife. It's basically got like little knives over here. Like <laughs> well, yeah. This like is a, just a tool for lots of things. Sometimes you need a sharp tool, you need to cut something or whatever. All right, guys. The next item is a first aid kit. Let's look at what's inside of here. Nevi, show us what's inside of it. All right, gauze. Okay. I don't, actually, I don't know if that's called. Yeah, that's gauze. Um, we yeah. have some scissors. Just in case nice. you have like and, in your hand. And pins. Actually, I needed these really bad this for cheer. Really nice. I find like a like a deep thing, and you need to like. This is a band. Bandage. It's like your head is like bleeding and you need to cover the blood up. Um, yeah. I actually don't know what this is for. <laughs> it's an emergency kit, like if you need to stop bleeding. If oh, yeah, bleeding, you, like, it's like you make a tourniquet. Alcohol wipes, <laughs> wound pad. Wound pads. Mm -hmm. and, and, instructions. and your instructions. Awesome. Okay, and that all goes in this cute case. Your next item yeah, is nice. creeping up on you creepily again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Conscious people. Saving lives, <laughs> especially if they're pink. It helps guard you from the rain yeah. and the wind, and you're fashionable while you're pink, you know? Oh, yeah. Next item, bug wash. <laughs> the reason I'm giving you this here uh, Prestone bug wash for us, for our arms. is for because us. The I am low on my washer fluid, and it has been pretty hard. Why, why do I need bug wash? To kill the bugs. No, I mean to wipe the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't kill the bugs. Your bugs are already dead when they hit your bugs. Well, well, this bug washer fluid like takes that bug right, see that bug right there, and it just goes shh, 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 shh. Wow. And it actually repels bugs. All right, the last and final really important item. Okay, okay. <laughs> really? Oh my. <laughs> Googles? Googles! Googles! Found that off. Emergency kit. Alright, let's see what is in this emergency oh kit. We've got first of all the goggles because that's important. Why? Well, like if you're like on a fire and you have like these electricity, whatever. You I mean, electricity? <laughs> the electricity. You never know why you need goggles, but it must Mask be important. Tip in okay. case you have to do a surgery on someone. Scissors? Wow, emergency drinking water. I bet that's good. It is. It's probably clean. It's, it's probably, probably really very gross. clean. It's good for five years. If you're thirsting to death in your car. Extra tissues. soft and strong. Oh, that tissue is important. Water. Okay, okay. Go check out this. Oh my gosh, a mini <laughs> meal. That feels like um, it tastes so good. No. <laughs> no way. It's, it's probably like Hey, if you're stranded in your up. car for a day, that would probably taste I'll really die. good. A survival blanket. In case the pink poncho isn't good enough. Um, yeah. Just in case you get a party like. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Okay. Okay. Actually, no. Okay, guys, what this is for is kind of the same thing help. as this. If you need help and you crack it and you wave it like this, people will see it. Yeah. Okay, so it's a way of getting help if you need help. If you are nice. Yes. show Lily how to like check her oil and stuff. Benji's out of town and Josh owns a Jeep and it's a little different to like open up and every car is different. So I'm actually having Josh I show her. I know how to open this. So all right. Oh, you do? do? Let's see. Wow, well, let's see. So we did this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. On this side. Good job. Then you have to open it. To open it. Open it. Let's see. Can um, you do it? I think you put your hand inside it, but you, Josh can show you. Uh -huh. Got it? You push yeah, your hand over? Okay, shut it again and let her try it. One more time. You try, Lil. Oh, we need those pink gloves so you don't yes. your nails. <laughs> Good job. Where do you think that the oil is that you right need here. to check? Right here. There is a little thing that you grab. Oh, it's that. It's that. It's that. It's that yellow thing. Pull it out. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay. So, Lily, this right here, you need to pull it out. It might be Oh, oh you got it. You got it. Okay, pull it out. Perfect. Now, wipe off the bottom. Good job. Wipe off all the way. Okay, now poke it back in, and then we're going to read how high it is. Okay, poke it back in. Poke it back in the hole. And then I'll pull it back out, and this time, you're gonna look at it before you wipe it off, and you're gonna see how much oil you have to see if you're full or empty. 
How does that tell you? The reason why you want to wipe it off first, because sometimes when you drive, it goes higher than it really is. This will show you the actual level when it's not in driving. Perfect, now let's look at it up close. Do you see oil up to the top of it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. He says there's oil to the top of the line, so you are good on oil. Have you guys ever wondered what your tire pressure is at? No. Come over here and you take this tiny little thing off, see? Then you put this over it. Watch this, magic. That's what her thing's at. I'm like, oh, give it to me. 40. Pretty good. Here, did you guys know that there is a secret compartment? You lift up this, this right here. Okay, turn it, perfect. Guess what that is? Do you know what that is? Yeah. You go like this, you put on the bottom of your tire, go, and it lifts up your thing. Whoa. We had to change a tire for young women. What? Yeah. Good job. So this right here, you place it right here underneath your car. So when you lift that up, it will lift up the whole entire car. Sheesh. And so the first thing you do before you even lift it up is you loosen all of the bolts because it's easier to loosen while it's still there. Then you lift it up, do, 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 do. and then once it's up, you pull off the tire. Put your other tire that's back here. See this tire back here? Yep. This is your spare tire. You switch it out, and then you probably lower it back down, and then tighten the bolts. Like you want to put them on, like with your fingers, like this, until they're pretty tight. That you can't tighten them anymore with your fingers. But then you put it down to like really tighten it, and see where you tighten it right here. This is the exact size. See that? Yeah. Oh, right there. That's the exact size to tighten it. See, so do you see how it would do it? Yes. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so put that back. Put that back in there. Okay, I feel a little bit better. Do you feel better? Yeah. With all that emergency fun stuff. Guys, tomorrow we are going to film like their lunch and their packing and the whole shebang and there will be a few videos. So watch for our video tomorrow on their first road trip alone. It's kind of freaky, but it's okay. It'll be all right, right? Yeah. It's yeah. hard for mamas, but Lily's an awesome driver and I know she'll do great, but it's still kind of scary to mom. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Love you all.